There are two kinds of tourist visa. One is the B1 visa and the other is the B2 visa. A visa allows a foreign citizen to travel to a U.S. port of entry and request permission to enter the U.S. And the visa is not a guarantee of your admission. There are activities that are prohibited when applying for a tourist visa. For example, if you have the intention of working in the U.S., you will be denied a tourist visa. There are things you cannot do on a visitor visa. You cannot study or be employed or have paid performances or arrive as a crew member or work as a foreign press or stay in the U.S. permanently. Most of the time, consulates are giving B1, B2 combination of visas. Let's talk about first the B1 visa and what are the activities covered by this visa. For B1, you must attend a scientific, educational, professional, or business convention, negotiate a contract, settle an estate, or consult with business associates. The other type of visa is the tourist visa or tourism B2 visa. Here are the activities covered by this visa. Tourist B2 for vacation, visit with friends, medical treatment, tourism, participation in social events, or participation in other similar events. Also enrollment in a short-term recreational course of study and not for credit. Additional evidence will be needed to establish your purpose of your trip in the U.S. You must show the following as evidence. First, you must show the purpose of your trip if you're attending a conference or visiting family or friends. Second, you must show your intent to depart the U.S. after your trip or your ability to pay all costs of the trip. Evidence of your employment or family ties may be sufficient to show the purpose of your trip and intend to return, but if you cannot cover the cost of your trip, you may show evidence that another person will financially shoulder your trip. Visa applicants must qualify on the basis of the applicant's residence and ties abroad rather than assurances from U.S. family and friends. A letter of invitation or affidavit of support is not needed. However, if you choose to bring this, please remember it is not one of the factors used in determining whether to issue or deny the visa so that means this is not a guarantee that you will be granted a visa one big change is that there is no more birth tourism so what is this visitor visas will also not be issued for birth tourism or travel for the purpose of or for the primary purpose of giving birth in the u.s to obtain U.S. citizenship for their child. Here are important reminders when applying for a B-1, B-2 visa. First, an individual on a visitor visa is not permitted to accept employment or work in the U.S. Another important information is that you are not guaranteed for the visa issuance. Do not make final travel plans or buy tickets until you have a visa. Also, another important information to remember is that a valid U.S. visa in an expired passport is, is still valid unless canceled or revoked. A visa is valid until its expiration date. If you have a valid visa in your expired passport, do not remove it from your expired passport. You may use your valid visa in your expired passport along with a new valid passport for travel and admission to the U.S. The most important information that you can provide is to prove your ties to your home country. So do your research before even applying for a tourist visa. Among the ties that bind you to your home country, the strongest is your job. The job must be stable and you must be a professional that have been in your job for a long time. So what are the requirements for this job as a tie? You must present certificate of employment outlining your position, job duties, and length of employment, letter or certificate approving travel to USA by employer, approved vacation time, recent pay stubs from employment in home country, and 
bank statements showing financial capacity to travel, which is commensurate to length of stay in the USA. If you are a business owner or self-employed, here are the requirements. First, bank statements showing financial capacity to travel. Also, ownership of real estate if you have one. Evidence of business visit to U.S. such as conference or business meeting and I-94 travel document with travel history to and from your home country if you have traveled before. Another important ties are your family or families in your home country and your friends in your home country as well. Here are the steps on how to apply for a tourist visa. The first step is that you must complete the online visa application form DS-160 and print the application form confirmation page to bring to your interview. Step 2 is to pay the visa fees effective May 30, 2023. The amount is going to be $185. US Also, the fee is non-refundable. Step 3 is to schedule an interview. However, there are exceptions to the interview requirement. For ages 13 and younger, generally, interview is not required. Also, for 80 and older, for 14 and 79, interview will be required. Step 4 is to prepare for your interview. A consular officer will interview you to determine whether you are qualified to receive a visitor visa, so you must Establish that you meet the requirements under the U.S. law. Also, please take note that the consular officer may determine that your application requires further administrative processing. You must have a Philippine passport that is valid more than six months. Also, please comply with the photo requirements. You must provide two 2x2 photos in white background. Also, please bring a copy during your interview. Let's talk about the qualifications for a tourist visa. This is the most important requirement when applying. If you apply for a B1, B2 visa, you must demonstrate to a consular officer that you qualify for a U.S. visa in accordance with the U.S. Immigration and Nationality Act. You must overcome this legal presumption by showing that the purpose of your trip is for a temporary visit such as pleasure, business, or medical treatment. The second qualification is that your plan to remain in the U.S. For, is for a specific or limited period of time. The third most important qualification is that you must present evidence of funds so you can support yourself while traveling in the U.S. Also, another important requirement is that you must have a residence outside of the U.S. as well as other binding social or economic ties that will ensure your return abroad at the end of your visit. These are the important requirements. So it's important that you prepare ahead before applying for a visa. If you can get a job, stay at your good job. Or if you are managing a business, keep all the information that you have economic or social ties in the Philippines. Let's talk about the interview appointments. Unfortunately, the interview slots for B1, B2 tourist visa first-time applicants are now in 2024. It's really hard to set up an appointment ahead of time and it may take a while before you can even set it up online. So please be patient but in the meantime, prepare yourself so you are well qualified to apply for the tourist visa. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. 
And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.